Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Nick Does Disney. Obviously, as you can see with the tree behind me there, I am at Disney's Animal Kingdom for the night. Uh, not a whole lot of like real concrete plans, just gonna kind of hang out, maybe do the safari. Gonna go head over to Pandora, maybe try to do Flight of Passage, do the safari, and for dinner tonight, a restaurant that I've never, ever eaten at before. So I'm excited, so let's go do this on today's Nick Does Disney and Animal Kingdom. Alrighty, so I mentioned earlier I was going to eat at a restaurant I've never been to in Animal Kingdom. I've been coming here for a long time, but I've never eaten at Yak and Yeti, which is right behind me. So I'm in the mood for some tasty Asian food. So we're gonna hop on inside for my first time ever and review Yak and Yeti. All right, so here we are, Yak and Yeti restaurant. Conditioned air, that's what I'm looking for. Cool little stuff in the lobby up front. Namaste. Like I said, I'm excited to eat here. I've never been here before, so this should be fun. Just gonna show you around the restaurant a little bit, some of the different rooms in here. Such cool detail all throughout here. Some really cool stuff. How cool is that? Awesome. They've even got a bar in here. All right, so I just got my table here at the Yak and Yeti, and it's split up into a bunch of different rooms. So I'm in this little side room with a little bit of a theme park view. You can see right outside into uh, Asia, going into Discovery Island over there. There you go, you can see it. Well, kinda, the sun's a little blurry. There you go, Discovery Island right ahead, pretty cool. So we're gonna look over the menu and order some food. And of course, like most restaurants, you just click on that little QR code and it'll pop up the menu, but I did look over it. And uh, it's a lot of Pan-Asian food. You're gonna find some lo mains, food done on a walk. You're gonna find some Chinese, some Indian food. Lots of good looking stuff. All right, I'm gonna show you the appetizer menu right now because there's some really good looking stuff on here, as you can see, but I decided to go with the firecracker shrimp. I absolutely love firecracker shrimp. Um, I usually get it at the boathouse and it's super duper tasty over there. So I am gonna go with this tasty firecracker shrimp. And when it comes out, I will show you and just like magic, here it is. So here it is. This is the tasty looking firecracker shrimp for $13.99. Crispy fried shrimp tossed in a creamy spicy sauce with Asian slaw. It looks really good, very vibrant color. When you think of a color that's that bright, you usually think it's gonna be pretty spicy, but it is firecracker shrimp. It's got that slaw under it, a little slice of lime. Let's dive in and see if it will, or tastes as good as it looks. All right, so time to uh, dive on in, get ourselves a nice little shrimpy. Mm. 
that's good. Oh, there's the heat. I was gonna say, at first bite, you don't get the heat. It's a really nice sauce, but then it kicks in after a couple of seconds. It's definitely got a little kick to it, so firecracker shrimp for sure. I think it said it was fried. It doesn't taste super fried, like a very thick fry to it, which I'm a fan of. I don't like things overly fried. Very nice, see that? Uh, where's my camera? There you go, I'm going the wrong way. Look at that shrimp. It looks orange. Orange, you think, is very spicy, and it's definitely got a kick to it. Gonna give it that squeeze of lime on there. Get on that lime. So it is super good. I think I prefer the um, Boathouse Firecracker Shrimp over this one. I mean, the slaw, just kind of like a pre-mixed bag of like cut up lettuce and cabbage and carrots and stuff. Nothing super special. It's very good, for sure. Especially for inside of a theme park appetizer. But um, if you want really good firecracker shrimp, I would head over to um, the Boathouse in Disney Springs, but this is mighty good. All right, as you can see, I did not like the firecracker shrimp at all because I ate it all. Now it was really good, got spicier the more and more I ate it, but very tasty. But now let's look at, take a look at the, uh, the main menu. A lot of the entrees here are very Pan-Asian inspired. You've got Indian style food, you've got Chinese style food, pretty much a little something for everybody on this menu. I think anybody can find something they would like on here, but I'm gonna go with the chicken tikka masala. And again, just like magic, boom, here it is. This, my friends, is the chicken tikka masala, like I said, for $25.99. It is boneless chicken breast marinated in yogurt and freshly ground herbs cooked in a traditional masala sauce served with jasmine rice and some garlic naan. Give you a little spoon down there as well, but yeah, it looks really good. My waitress did warn me it is uh, pretty spicy, so we'll have to see if I can handle it. Gotta mix up all that rice and the chicken tikka masala. And the tasty sauce, gotta mix it all up before we get a nice big bite. All right, first bite. She did warn me it was a little spicy, so I mixed it all up together. Get one nice big spoonful, Let's see how it is. It's very good. I'm not getting the spice yet. I mean, it's definitely got some spice in it. There it is. There's the spice. It's a, it's another one of those delayed spice type thing, but very good. Yeah, definitely one of those delayed spices, but overall it's got a ton of flavor. I love the rice. The rice is perfectly cooked. The chicken is super tender, very nice, and that sauce is fantastic. The key is to mix that all up so you get all the flavors in there in one bite. Really good. Like I said, it also does come with some naan. So what I like to do is, uh, if I can, just get some of the goodness on the naan and eat it off of that as well. Bon appetit. Mm. I love naan and theirs is like cooked in an oven for sure because you can see all the little burnt edges on it like wood fired or whatever really good here's the thing I've been eating and eating and eating and I look like I've got nowhere this is a lot of food this is a huge portion again for like 25 bucks this is a ton of food and I'm gonna keep trying to eat some more but man oh man it's like a never-ending bowl of uh, chicken tikka masala I think I'm gonna have to throw them in the towel. I swear to you, I ate a ton of food, but look how much is left. That was like the never ending bowl of uh, chicken tikka masala. Overall, super good, a lot of flavors in there, a lot of really good spices, perfectly cooked chicken and rice and all that. Out of five stars, that's a, that's a solid four. All right, so overall first impressions of uh, Yak and Yeti, I'd never been here before and I loved it. Uh, the firecracker shrimp was great. The chicken tikka masala, fantastic as well. Really, really good food. Um, the only thing is it's spicier food and it's heavier food. So in the Florida heat, I don't know how we'd feel eating this in you know, the peak heat of the day and then going out and running around and doing all kinds of things in Animal Kingdom where it's hot to begin with. This is uh, food that's gonna sit heavy and it's gonna make it you know, all hot because of the spices in there. So maybe not great for a hot day out there, but really, really good food. Um, so before we wrap up the night, let's uh, squeeze in one more ride and uh, head over to Expedition Everest. I love Everest. Might not be the best idea to ride it on a full belly. But let's do this. All right, we're doing it. Just got in line for Expedition Everest. 15 minutes, not too shabby towards the end of the day. And it really is just one of the coolest queues out of any ride in all of Disney World. So detailed and so awesome. It's like a little Yeti museum in here. Namaste. 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 
saw this as we got off how cool is this it's a 15 year anniversary uh, expedition ever shirt very cool it must be now all right boys and girls so that is going to do it for my day here in animal kingdom and it was a great day i love this park i know it's usually fourth on a lot of people's lists but there's just so much to do and ride here we got to do the safari we just did expedition everest to wrap up our day overall it's a great time. I love coming to Animal Kingdom and I can come and not ride anything. I can just walk around, listen to the music, watch the animals, just take in all the details. Such a great park, a delicious dinner, and just, a, just an overall great time. So thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you on the next video right here on Nick Does Disney. All right, so I was ending the video earlier and then I went and kind of roamed around a little bit more. And then I just had to come back and show you guys this. I mean, how often do you get to roam around a Walt Disney World theme park and see nobody? I am in the Asia section right now of Disney's Animal Kingdom, and there's just nobody here. Like, how cool is this? It's all lit up at night. It's such a beautiful park at night to begin with. Hey, Russell. Hey, Doug. And then you just see nobody. It's like you own the park. Just the chill music in the background. So freaking cool. I mean, I, I am at a loss for words how cool it is just to roam through a park and be pretty much the only person. It's just incredible. So just wanted to come back and show you guys this. Thank you again for watching. It's Nick Chapel for Nick Does Disney. Have a great day.